Hi there everyone, Simon here, and today I'm going to be doing another contact performance comparison. I'm going to be looking once again at whether there is any difference between loading all of your instruments into a single instance of contact, or whether you're better off loading them into separate instances of contact with one contact instance per instrument. I did a previous performance comparison in FL Studio, and for this comparison I'll be using Reaper. I'll be using the exact same libraries with the exact same settings, the same MIDI information. I haven't done any battery saving or any changes to my system in the meantime. This is pretty much exactly the same setup as I had on FL Studio, just we're doing everything inside of Reaper instead. I'll be looking at pretty much the same variables. Uh, we'll be looking at load time as well as RAM usage, and we won't be looking at the multi-threading because I can't really find a simple toggle and the Reaper settings are a little bit intimidating, but those are the main things we'll be looking at here and we'll see if there's any significant difference. So I'm going to be using a very similar testing setup. Uh, I'm starting with a completely fresh, empty Reaper instance. I'm going to load up the multi project, and we'll have a look at the load time, and then we'll have a look at the RAM usage, and we'll go through all that good stuff. So let's get started then. I'm going to grab the uh, multi project here and start my timer. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I counted that at 47 seconds. You'll probably have a more accurate time display on screen right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick that in the spreadsheet. That is the multi-contact, and it took 47 seconds. That is surprisingly longer than the FL Studio load times. Uh, seeing as all of these libraries are on the exact same hard drives as they were before, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Uh, this may require further investigation, I'm not sure. So I've got a very similar setup to what I had in FL Studio. We've got one contact instance on each of these channels, and we have some MIDI information going to all of the appropriate uh, channels. I've color-coded things to make it a bit more obvious. All of these are the channels with contact on them, and then these five up here are just basically piping MIDI information. You can see there's no effects on this one. So that's what the setup is like. Uh, I'm going to wait for all of the samples to load up, and then we can have a look at the RAM usage. So I'll get back to you once that's done. All right, so things seem to have stabilized here pretty well, and we're seeing just under 16,000 megabytes, which is pretty much on par with uh, what we had on the FL Studio usage up here. So the next step in the test is going to be looking at CPU load. Once again, I'll be using the CPU meter inside of Reaper, since again, the CPU meter inside of Task Manager uh, isn't really suitable for uh, measuring CPU usage while working with audio. So we'll be having a look at the CPU meter in here. I'll be resetting the average just before I hit play. And then we're going to have a look at the second number right here, which is the average CPU usage. So uh, I'm going to hit reset graph and then I'll hit play and I'll let it run for maybe six times. So let's see what happens. So we seem to be hovering around 15% usage with a peak of 22. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. You know what, we'll call this field average and then the next one can be peak. So for average, we had 15% and for peak, we had 22% and I am putting all of these into the wrong fields here. My bad, so 15%, 22%. And let's go ahead and move on to the next test then. So I'm going to start a brand new project 
not going to save any of those changes. Once this is done loading up, we'll repeat the same test with a single instance of contact. So get back to you in a second. Okay, so here's our empty instance of Reaper. Let's go ahead and open up the single contact project and we'll see what the load time is like. Three, two, one, go. Uh, okay, that looked like it took 28 seconds, which seems much lower than the previous. Um, so maybe I'll repeat this experiment a couple of times and see if the load times differ at all, because uh, this has been a little bit finicky depending on when I load the project. I've run this a couple of times and I sort of get different loading times, so I'm not too sure what's up with that. But anyway, so far it seems like a single instance of contact takes less time to load. I guess I'll just show you that this is in fact the same libraries that I was using on the last test. We've got cinematic strings, Berlin woodwinds for all of the winds, just the default multi-patch. And then over here we have our Bravura brass. We've got the sackbutts from Loegria, from Spitfire Audio Loegria, because I really like those libraries. And then a bunch of percussion from Rhapsody Orchestral Percussion. Once again, we'll wait for the samples to finish loading, and then we'll have a look at the RAM usage. Things seem to have stabilized down again, and once again we are seeing a lower RAM usage with the single instance of contact here. We're getting only 14,000 megabytes here, which is again significantly lower than the multiple instances. Where you know, two gigabytes is uh, enough room to load a fair number of libraries in there. So if you're using Reaper, you might want to consider switching to a single contact instance for all of your contact work. Next up, we'll do the CPU usage test, same as before. I'll right-click, reset the graph, and then we'll have a look at the average and peak values when I play this back. So here we go. All right, so it seemed to be getting very similar CPU usage here. That was about 14 to 15 percent uh, average. So we'll just put 14 to 15 in there, and then the peak was 21 percent. So pretty much no difference in CPU usage between the single and multiple instances here. I did just want to note here that the CPU usage, uh, you can't compare the CPU usage figures between Reaper and FL Studio, again, just because of the different ways that the two DAWs measure CPU usage. Theoretically, the physical limitations of your computer should dictate how many libraries you can load. Uh, assuming you have the same audio driver settings, the same buffer size, the same libraries, theoretically, two different projects with the same settings in two different DAWs should perform very, very similarly. So don't take these CPU figures to mean that, oh, Reaper is so much better than FL Studio for this kind of thing. That's really not the case at all. Uh, so what can we conclude from this? Well, once again, pretty similar to the last one. There's no difference in CPU usage. There may or may not be a difference in load time. I might put up another video if I can uh, figure out what causes this difference. And the RAM usage, you get a significantly lower RAM usage by using a single instance of contact. So there you have it. If you're using Reaper, you should probably use a single instance, and then you can load more libraries. I'm definitely planning on doing some more of these comparisons because I find it kind of fun and I like knowing this kind of stuff. So uh, if you want to catch those, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I hope this has been somewhat entertaining and hopefully informative. Thanks very much for watching.